The hand tool, located right here, or by pressing H, allows you to move around the canvas when you're zoomed in. So let's say you press Control Plus a couple of times to zoom in. Notice how I'm able to just click and drag in order to move it. Now, fact of the matter is, it's very rare that you're actually going to go and use this uh, wand, uh, excuse me, this hand tool if you actually know what you're doing. The way to get to it and the way that you should use it is just by pressing and holding down spacebar. And by pressing and holding spacebar and then clicking and dragging, the mouse immediately jumps to become the hand tool. So is there any advantage to using the hand tool? Well, there's a couple of things in the options bar, such as show actual pixels, control 1, or fit to screen, control 0, or fill screen, right, that one's not that great, or print size, control 1. Um, you can also get the various shortcuts just by going to view right here. There really isn't any advantage uh, to using this. Uh, the Rotate View tool allows you to rotate the view, which Photoshop introduced, I think, in CS3 for painters just around the same time that everyone started using Cintiq tablets. Uh, if you end up uh, rotating the view like this and you want to set it back to normal, go to your Rotate tool by pressing R, R for Rotate, and just hit Escape and it will go back to the uh, normal view. You can actually rotate all windows. We only have one up here. Let's uh, make it so we have two up. I'm just going to rotate all windows, and you'll notice that they all do that uh, at the same time, which is cool, uh, if not necessarily useful, as I found. Maybe other people use it in some way. I'm sure there's a reason they have that. So those are those two tools. For the full four-hour Photoshop crash course, click on the link below. And to get more of the tools, just click on this link inside of the video itself. Thanks for joining me.